What is up everybody? Welcome to SG Autos. Today I am super excited. We are going to be looking at the brand new 2020 Kia Soul. This thing has been totally redesigned. It's a bigger body. There's more room. There's a bigger touch screen. It's a turbo engine. It gets over 200 horsepower. This thing's crazy. Let's check it out and see what we think. When you get inside the Kia Soul, there's actually lots of room. They did a really good job with having the floorboards low and the ceiling high. So in spite of me being six foot tall and this being pretty close to a compact car, there's lots of space. Even if I sit in the back seat, my feet aren't up in my, in my nose. I have a comfortable seating position even in the back seat of this kind of small car. Now let's talk about a little bit about the driving seat area. It's got some really cool designs. It's got this really cool color here. You can feel it. It's it's really sweet. I love the steering wheel. You get a sports style steering wheel with the bottom is flat like this. This really protruding little stainless steel piece that says GT line on there. Makes you think you're going really fast. You also have paddle, flappy paddle shifters. You can shift into that and it actually works fairly well. It's not it's not super uh right on point like in a Ferrari or something. It's not going to be that way because it's just, there's not near as much engine and horsepower going on. But for what it is, this thing has got some pretty good get up and go. And you can actually use the paddle shifters and feel like it's useful. I, I feel like on some cars there's paddle shifters and you're like, this is a Nissan Sentra. Why does this have paddle shifters? But this one, I feel like it actually is worthy of paddle shifters. Now let's talk about the center console. First of all, we have heated seats on both sides, and then you get a heated steering wheel, which is absolutely amazing, because it heats the entire steering wheel the whole way around. I've been in several cars that have heated steering wheels, and it only seems to heat right in this area here, but not up here, whereas we're all, we know we're all going to actually steer the car from up here, and that part isn't heated. So that's a really good feature. Now I'm going to push this so we can see the screen here. Look at the size of that screen. This is a 10.25 inch screen. It's huge. It's almost too big for this, the car. This is not that big of a car, but this screen is, is huge. This is like, I don't even know. It's crazy. In this, uh, in this specific vehicle, you get touch screen, which if you tap on it, you can get it to be the whole screen all the way across, or you can do a bunch of different scenarios where you have different things over here on the side and uh, there's all sorts of th things you can do with this. It's pretty cool. But it's a 10.25 inch screen. It's crazy. Now this one being the upper end line, it has Harman Kardon sound. So you get really good sound system. And then if we go down here, of course you have dual climate control. You can do your own. Or if you just hit sync, it'll go back to center. Uh, or go back to what the other one is doing so everything's the same. You get wireless phone charging. This is a big thing for me because I have wireless chargers all over my house and at work, everywhere. I love using wireless charger. And this, you just slide your phone right in there. This light pops on and you're good to go. The other thing that Kia offers in actually in all of their cars is Apple and Android Play in every single one of their vehicles. So it doesn't matter even if you bought a Rio, you can still get Apple and Android Play, which is really good because this has navigation. Navigation is great, but let's be honest we're still going to use our phone. So why not have our home phone hooked up to it and then we can have live data on here showing us the actual traffic scenario and everything going on. Now back to the radio, I want to show you this cool feature. First of all, if you slide over, that's where you get all your, your apps and everything will show up over here, which is really sweet. But you have sound mood lamp. So what this does is you can actually change the car to do these different little things while you're driving. And this, this shows up at night. You get some, some ambient lights. And I haven't actually got to see these work yet. But I, I, that looks really cool. I really want to try that out. That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Now another thing you get on the Kia Soul is you get a heads-up display. 
but this isn't a normal heads-up display. Normally, a heads-up display would, would project up onto your window, but this one has more like a James Bond feel. It's really cool. So when you start the car, this will come on, but there's also a button over here. If I push this button, look at that. This little lens screen pops up out of the dash, and then you're, you're, you can see it on there. You can change it from green or orange or white. You can adjust how high it is, how bright it is, a bunch of different features, and it'll even show your navigation on there when you do that. All sorts of stuff, but it's like the coolest little feature. And there it goes. Absolutely unnecessary, but I gotta have one. Another cool feature on this car that I really like is the fact that it has dual exhaust in the center. That is awesome. That looks really good and it gives it that really sporty uh, car design as, as well as it has a little bit of a diffuser here. It just has a really good look to it. The rims are really nice. Uh, there's a couple different options of rims you can get with the car that look really great. If we look up here, you get LEDs all the way across as well as here. At night, this line right here lights up and it gives it a really mean, really intense look. And I love that grill. It's got a huge lower grill on it. It just gives it a really mean, angry look. It's angry at everybody. All right, I think we've done enough talking about this. I want to drive it. Let's go. Now one thing I noticed in this car, when you have it in sport mode, like I said, this one actually has a sport mode. It actually works differently. If you're in a parking lot with this car, you're not gonna wanna have it in sport mode. The reason being is, is it's, it's, it shifts differently. The torque is in a different position. And when you, when you barely tap on it, it really, it, it jolts you. It's not made, it's not set up to be in a parking lot. This is actually a serious, sports mode. <laughs> the, the torque steer is actually, there's actually a little bit of a problem because this is a front wheel drive car and there's actually some torque steer. So if you do get this vehicle, please be careful because if, uh, all that power, 200 horsepower on such a light little car on the front end of this actually is a little scary. So just be careful with that. Now, I've driven a lot of cars that have a sport mode, like this car does. But in most cases, you don't actually see a difference. But in this one, there is definitely a difference. Oh! It is really fast. The car just stopped in front of me or else I would have been a lot better. Here we go, let's do this again. <laughs> it loses traction in first and second gear. And I don't have it in manual mode, it's on its own and it loses traction just taking off. And it's a super dry day, there's no water on the road, it's not rainy or anything. <laughs> this car is fun to drive. Now I've driven more powerful, faster cars, but the way this puts the power down, this is just enough speed and just enough torque in a small enough car that it's not intimidating. I don't feel like I, I can't push it to the limit and um, it's fun. It, it puts a smile on your face. Now you could go buy a Ferrari. You could go buy a, a Mustang and soup it up. You could do whatever. Get 500 horsepower, 400 horsepower, whatever. But when it comes time and you want to step on it, you're going to be scared. You're not going to use that much horsepower anywhere. It's, it's just not going to happen. But with this car, I can use, I'm on a little side street here. I can use all the horsepower right out the gate. And it's just enough. It's, it's fun. But I don't feel like I need to be a professional race car driver to enjoy it or know how to use it. It, it it's fun. Just trust me, it's fun. Now the cool thing with Kia is on all their cars they're packed full of safety features. So if you're really concerned about safety, uh, these cars have uh, blind spot assist. They have lane departure uh, warnings. There is uh, the heads-up display on this one. 
uh, backup sensors, backup cameras, you name it, it's got all of it. So in spite of this being a fun, kind of crazy little car, at the same time, it's actually a pretty safe, reasonable car. You're gonna get good gas mileage. Um, it's comfortable to drive. You have heated steering wheel, heated seats, uh, really nice sound system, really nice radio, all of it. Uh, but it is, it is a blast. I mean, if you want a fun little car, good gas mileage, everything else, this car nails it. The other thing this car has, which it just did right now, is it has the automatic off. So when you're sitting at a light or you stop, the engine will actually shut off so you save gas mileage. Uh, if you don't want that, it's just a simple button. I push the button, now it's back on and it won't shut off unless I hit that button. Another cool thing with Kia that I like is the fact that everything is very simple to use. A lot of cars when you have as much tech as, as this car actually has, it's very difficult to get to it all. You have to go into the navigation and you have to go through the system and, and it has to be, you know, all this stuff has to happen. Whereas on this car, everything, almost everything is a one touch button that's just somewhere on the dash and you just push it and it's either on or off and you're good to go. Uh, so I like the fact that it's super easy to use. Uh, overall, this is an awesome car. And we're gonna try this in manual mode. As you can see, it shows down there in the bottom corner. Holy cow. <laughs> so guys, that concludes my review on the 2020 Kia Soul GT. Uh, thanks for watching, it was a lot of fun. I'm actually just gonna go drive it now because I really like it. Thanks for watching SG Autos. Click like and subscribe, I'll see you next time.